Hey guys, so today I'm going to be testing out my new Shop Miss A products that I just hauled. Most of this video will be just testing out the brushes because I don't have too many new makeup products. Like I have primer, foundation, powder, brow products, and like lashes and liners. So those are the only actually new things that I have, but I will be doing a full face of Shop Miss A makeup. I just brought in stuff that I already had. It's been a couple videos since my Shop Miss A haul. I just wanted to put up my other videos that I had filmed before, so you notice that like my hair went from being cut to not cut, but it's fine. It's a little more gloomy outside today, so the lighting might not be as good. It's still going to be better lighting than my um, orange and purple smoke yet. But if y'all want to see me test out some new Shop Miss A products and do a full face using $1 makeup and brushes, then just keep watching. I'm going to start with the AOA Studio Wonder Skin Mattifying primer. I'm just gonna do this side first just to see if it does anything for my pores. It's a little stickier. It literally feels like the illuminating primer and it doesn't look too mattifying. It did nothing for my pores so that's sad. I don't know if it will keep me mad all day. I don't want it to but we'll I guess we'll see. This Wonder Skin Mattifying Primer minimizes shine and creates a smooth and matte canvas. This isn't smoothing my pores isn't a matte canvas but okay this is what i'm most excited about this is the aoa studio perfect bb cream whoop whoop i'm just gonna go to like that much it might be too much but it's fine so it feels a little thicker and i know it is like a shade oh i should just do this side first oh well. it smells like baby powder i'm using this sponge that i haven't tried out either even out my skin tone I'm gonna look up close in a second. These little bumps on my chin are being so emphasized right now. I'm gonna use this as my concealer as well because the only shop to say concealer I have, I don't like. I'm not talking about my Sante Super Smooth because I only like that for my eyelids. I'm talking about the AOA Studio Concealers if y'all watched my last testing shop to say makeup. This is so dewy that like all of my texture is just like shining through. I just feel like I look like I have really bad skin. I didn't even try this with a brush. I meant to do that. I have this brush I was gonna try out for foundation, but I don't think I could, I guess I could do it on this part. I'm just like kind of tapping, but at the same time I am dragging it down a little. But I mean, oh my goodness, it literally like, you see that? My whole face just looks so dewy. It's literally like set down. So I don't know, this is is tripping me out. There's no streaks at all, which normally with brushes, I can't use brushes. Like, this is actually very amazing, but it does have a little bit pokey. Like, whenever you're doing this, it does feel a little pokey, so I feel like it's probably making my skin even redder. I just feel like I'm not getting really too much coverage at all. I put some more on the back of my hand. And I'm going to mix in the AOA Studio Wonder Cover in white shade. I don't like this concealer at all, but I've never, like, obviously tried the white one out by itself because I can't just, like, put the white one under my eyes. So I don't know how it looks, but we're just going to mix it with this so that I get a little bit of a lighter shade for my under eyes. And we'll see. And if it looks really cakey, then I'll know that it's because the concealer because I know how the concealer looks because I've tried it out so many times trying to make it work. But, um yeah i wish i could love that concealer but it looks good on so many people like my friend came over and used it and it looked beautiful on her skin but on mine it just did not look good at all let me know down below if y'all want to see the shop miss a favorites video because i would love to do that i feel like my under eyes don't look bad at all right now like they're not really covered too much on to powder which i'm super excited about this is the aoa studio perfect setting powder and i have the shade soft light i'm gonna set one side with this sponge but i'm gonna look up and blend out i'll create it and just now this just fix everything maybe just because it mattified but i feel like it's not making my under eyes look dry it literally just looks like my skin i think i'm just gonna set all of it just to see how it looks but yeah just like look at this side compared to this side it's looking like a lot better wow my skin feels like super soft as well look at my unibrow i need to wax that girl and i'm literally not even using that much guys i didn't go back with this like this is 
like my natural skin peeking through, but all of this is set. This is this side. This is this side. I just feel like everything is like a lot, like looking a lot smoother and a lot better. I feel like it looks like 10 times better. I'm gonna do this side with a brush. It just looks like it'd be meant for under eyes. This is the AOA Studio F25. When I do this, it's not really feeling like I'm stabbing myself like some brushes do. Like I can feel a little bit of a prick, but it's not anything like awful. I haven't set my under eyes with a brush in a while. I can feel a smidge bit of a prick like when I'm doing this, but when I'm doing this and just like sweeping it, I don't feel anything. Right here, my texture isn't looking as small. The side looks much smoother. I just really like powders with a sponge. Like I never set my face with a brush anymore. Just wanted to give it a chance. Okay, now I'm gonna move on to brows. This is the AOA Studio Sculpting Brow Pencil. And I've literally never done this before, so. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit warm. <laughs> Like, this does not look normal. I went to see I Can Only Imagine yesterday. And if y'all haven't seen, like, at least watch the trailer. It's just, like, so powerful. It's so good. Like, I cried at least, like, four times. Okay, obviously I'm gonna fix that. Calm down. <laughs> I can tell that this is waxier because, like, my brow hairs actually stick up. I went in with the Makeover Essentials Contour Kit. And I first bronzed with, like, the more warm shade and the big fluffy F21 brush. Then I went in with the more precise brush for contouring, the F24, and took the cooler tone shade. Then I went in with my Muse blush in Sunsets, and it's really pigmented, but I went in with like the angled brush F22, and it was kind of flimsy, so I handled it really well, and I don't feel like it showed up too pigmented and it looks really pretty. I went in with the AOA Studio Wonder Baked Highlighter and Cream Puff and used my favorite F19 brush and girl was that highlight so much more intense than I remember. It's like so pretty and it's a dollar. I just kept going back and blending with the F21, the super big and fluffy brush and I really like this just for like blending everything together. I feel like it's a really good brush for that. I do want to do a little bit on the eyes just because I have brushes that I need to use. First I'm going to go in and set all this. I tried this out in my first impressions video. This is the Essence Keep It Perfect Makeup Setting Spray. This LA Colors Matte Eyeshadow Palette and Mattifying and y'all know I love this. I'm just going to go in with this super fluffy E127. Go in with this like peachy shade and just like it's not going to show up too much but I just want to like fluff it everywhere. I really just want to have light eyeshadow and then have bold lashes. I'm going in with that cooler tone shade and just doing the same thing but focusing it a little more in the outer corner but still fluffing it everywhere. Now I'm just mixing the two. Like I just love these shadows so much. They're so smooth. Like if you don't have this palette I know some people are like, these are basic colors, but it's literally, like, they are basic colors, and you need this. I'm going in with the super dark brown shade, and just kind of patting it on the outer corner, and then I'm going to go back and blend with the cooler tone shade. I'm just going to take that peachy shade on this more dense brown E126. Then I'm going to go in with this super duper tiny E134. I'm going to take the dark brown shade. Wow, this is like super precise. I'm going to go in with the diamond eyeliner in pink. I really don't like how hard it is to open because I feel like it's just going to like sling product everywhere. This pink one is a little more chunky, I feel like. Alright, I feel like that looks really cool. For the lashes. I really just want to go in with my Alexis, but I feel like I want to try out these, but I feel like these are going to be so dramatic. I did not apply the S7 or Alexis because S7, it like literally was way too blunt, like it was like straight across the whole way, and they were really pretty like on the outer corner, but like on the, like when it came to the inner corner, it like literally just like stopped, and it wasn't like 
yeah it just wasn't looking cute so then I was like I really don't want to use Alexis because I feel like that would just be the alley thing to do and I wanted to use a new pair so I used the Chloe lashes they're like the spiky ones if you watched the haul then you know what they look like but you know if you didn't that's your loss <laughs> I'm kidding I feel like this eye is just looking a little janky like everywhere but like this is so much cleaner and like all one line and this is just like i don't know this lash just is these two aren't the same the only way they look the same is if i do this like every two seconds i also put a little bit of my highlighter in the inner corner i really love the eye makeup because it's like super simple and then you just have that pop of pink and then these spicy lashes are just like you know and then my brows i feel like they look a lot better now for the lips i really wanted to use one of these two colors because i've never used like these two on my channel before but i feel like red just wouldn't go with this pink and then i feel like this warm orangey brown just wouldn't go i feel like this just doesn't go so that was hero i'm pretty sure no that was nude that's awkward i'm gonna go find faded i feel like this just made the look get real dramatic real quick wow i actually really love how this turned out even though it doesn't really look like i did much i feel like it just like is like really pretty even though i literally didn't do anything especially the face makeup i'm in love with this face makeup like just look at this lashes at first i wasn't a big fan of them but i feel like i've gotten used to them a lot i just love this makeup i'll have to try this again with like a different primer i feel like maybe the primer could have like sheared out the coverage or made it a lot more dewy oh look at that i just can't get over it like i've literally tried it before i'm just gonna give a little quick wrap up of the products the brushes i didn't use too many of these eye brushes i did use a few and they're so soft and that's all that really matters i feel like they worked i liked them i'm gonna have to use these like with more of like a actual colorful look or you know like where i actually do more than just like that <laughs> i also used these brushes which were once again really soft i really liked this brush just for like I used it for bronzer, but I also just used it to blend like my whole cheek area together and I really like that. And if you like setting your face with powder, I feel like that would also be a good brush. And this is great for contouring and I feel like that could also be good for the under eyes. This I loved for the under eyes. I just feel like I'm just not like a brush person when it comes to setting powder. I just really like the sponge, but the sponge girl is so good. And this i was so surprised by this because normally when i see angled brushes i'm like well great another brush i'm not going to use um but this was so good for this blush because this blush is super pigmented and like i normally have to like be so careful and all i did was tap it and then tap it off and then i just like lightly touched my cheeks with it and I feel like it just put like such a pretty, like you probably can't even see because of the highlighter, but it's fine. I just feel like it applied the blush so beautifully. I'm obviously going to try all these brushes a lot more. The brow products, again, they were good. I just feel like I do have to get used to them because when I did this brow, I just felt like I knew how to do it after I'd done this one. And then when I went back and did this one, it was a lot easier. So you just kind of have to practice and get used to it. And then this, I just like barely touched at all. I was literally barely touching my eyebrows and like... I also like had wiped off like all the product but I feel like this would be better for people whose hairs aren't really dark like this is kind of like gimme brow where you would just like go over it like a light little thing I'll also try this like just by itself at one point it like added like a whole tail to one of my hairs and I was like no don't want that and this powder girl so good i love it i'm gonna have to get the translucent one the face voluminous glow to eliminate dull skin for brighter appearance so it doesn't say anything about coverage so i mean yeah, I guess it does that. This mattifying primer, not for mattifying, but it does make you look super, super plastic, glowy lip. Obviously, I love these lip colors because I feel like you could tell that it was a little dry, but like if you put chapstick on before, then it's fine. My favorite Sensors contour kit, I've had this. I love it already. This worked a lot better when I mixed it with that, so maybe I can just start mixing this with concealers because I haven't mixed this with any concealer because I've been like... No, it makes it look cakey. This, I mean, it's really pretty. I feel like I did have to keep building it up. Shamase, you have nailed it. You have gotten me once again. That was 
me trying out Shop Nisse products and doing a full face using $1 makeup, $1 brushes. I think that is everything. I'm also going to be doing like a Shop Nisse favorites after I try out all these more. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. Please leave any video recommendations down below. Thank you so much for watching. Bye! Girl, I love, love this makeup so much. Oh my god, I love it. <laughs>